Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. After Tesla trademarked Cyber Backpack, the product's inventor sits at a crossroads. Tesla unveils giant new 360 megawatt hour megapack project that is going to help power 60,000 homes. Tesla announces new hiring efforts for Giga Texas. And Tesla turns mobile charger into optional accessory for new vehicle purchases. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Riz Nwosu was inspired when he went to the Tesla Cybertruck unveiling in 2019. After snagging some pictures with the newly revealed Cybertruck and company CEO Elon Musk, Riz developed a backpack inspired by the futuristic pickup he saw in Hawthorne, California, in late 2019. By December 2021, he had a prototype and a website. Less than six months later, he found Tesla had trademarked the name of his product. Since December, Riz says, he has been developing the Cyber Backpack, an idea that blossomed from a product unveiling nearly two and a half years ago. I began designing and building what would become the Cyber Backpack, Riz said in a blog post he published shortly after reports of Tesla trademarking the name. This all occurred just six months ago, with the first prototypes arriving at his house in March 2022. Later that month, the product would launch on Product Hunt and Spotify, as Riz had received plenty of inquiries from potential customers. In March, Riz reached out to Tesla CEO Elon Musk on Twitter and other prominent figures within the company, looking to collaborate on the idea. He felt as if the Cyber Backpack would be something both he and the automaker could benefit from. The Cybertruck, with its mass appeal and loyal following, would likely do well in a backpack version and it would be a dream for Riz, who purchased his first Tesla in March 2016. On April 5, Tesla trademarked the Cyber Backpack name, bringing some speculation that the automaker had approached the fan to purchase or collaborate on his idea. After all, Riz's website, cyberbackpack.com, was not active when the initial reports came out earlier this week, which only fueled the speculation that Tesla probably liked the idea and decided to approach him about it. Riz was alarmed, however, as Tesla didn't contact him about the bag, nor his idea, or the name of the product. They had instead trademarked the name of the backpack, which sent Riz into a state of confusion. I decided to temporarily take the site down, after receiving a bunch of orders and reaching out to Tesla. I thought it best to rework the site and get my manufacturer set up properly, and then relaunch. Tesla never contacted me, Riz said. According to some patent and trademark law firms, Tesla may have trademarked the name to protect itself from any repercussions that could come from the product's design. One lawyer explained, it was a strategic and defensive strategy that Tesla may use to avoid a situation like Apple did with its AirPods. Apple had so many counterfeit AirPod designs on the market that eventually it had to do damage control on knockoffs as some were catching fire or having other dangerous malfunctions. The issue is that Apple could prove that consumers immediately think of Apple when they see designs of AirPod knockoffs. This is essentially dangerous to Apple, even though they did not create the AirPod knockoffs, because consumer sentiment relates that design to Apple and not to a third-party company. Tesla could technically argue the same thing, according to legal experts. People may see the Cyber Backpack's design and immediately think Tesla designed it. If negativity were to come from that design in any way, people would likely relate the backpack to Tesla and not to a third-party company which could damage Tesla's name. Riz ultimately filed his own trademark application several days ago, with a first use date of December 2021, when he built the website and came up with the design. A loyal Tesla fan and supporter Riz just wants to work with the company to help fulfill the idea. Moving to the next update, Tesla unveils giant new 360 megawatt hour megapack project that is going to help power 60,000 homes. Tesla has unveiled its latest giant megapack project, consisting of 360 megawatt hour of energy storage capacity used in concert with a solar farm to help power 60,000 homes. Aravan is becoming one of Tesla's biggest partners in the deployment of energy storage capacity. 
Last year, Tesla and Aravind signed a deal for the former to supply a record amount of 2 gigawatt and 6 gigawatt hour of megapack batteries to the latter for several new energy storage projects. That's more capacity than Tesla has deployed over the last two years combined. They are already working on several projects together, and Tesla unveiled one of them in a new video recently. The project called Townsite Solar and Storage Facility is located in Boulder City, Nevada, a few miles from Las Vegas, and it consists of over half a million solar panels. For Tesla's part, the company supplied 360 megawatt hour of megapacks to help take full advantage of that solar power. Tesla writes the following about the project. Aravind's townsite solar and storage facility generates 500,000 megawatt hour annually, powering 60,000 homes and avoiding 400,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. It has become one of Tesla's biggest megapack projects in the world. Megapack has rapidly become the go-to product for large-scale energy storage projects. Tesla recently increased the price of the energy storage device as its backlog extends into the next year. In order to address the demand, Tesla is building a new megafactory in California to ramp up production. Moving to the next update, Tesla announces new hiring efforts for Giga Texas. It should come as no surprise to most people that Tesla is hiring to fill positions at its new Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. However, with the global chip shortage and other supply chain constraints, along with the unknowns related to the timing of Tesla's production ramp, it may seem quick to some that Tesla is making public announcements about hiring. That said, CEO Elon Musk has said in the past that employees may be hard to come by, and he's been pushing for people to move into the Austin, Texas, area since the middle of last year. In fact, he also pressed for an uptick in housing in the areas surrounding the massive automotive and EV battery factory. Just recently, Tesla's project director for the office of the CEO, Amit Afshar, took to Twitter to announce that the company is hiring at Giga Texas. Tesla Roddy pointed out an interesting bit of information it found on Tesla's hiring page for the new Texas factory. It reads the following. It doesn't matter where you come from, where you went to school, or what industry you're in, we are currently hiring individuals of all levels. If you've done exceptional work, join us in solving the next generation of engineering, manufacturing and operational challenges as we accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Musk has also maintained over the years that a college education isn't necessarily what he's looking for in a proper candidate. Rather, he wants to know about the work they've done in the past and how they've proven themselves successful, especially when it comes to solving difficult problems with innovative methods. In early 2021, Musk said Tesla would need 10,000 employees for Giga Texas through 2022. He also touted the area as a great place for people to consider relocating. More recently, in December 2021, Musk said, the Texas factory would create at least 20,000 direct jobs and 100,000 indirect jobs. If you take a look at Tesla's hiring page for Giga Texas, you'll see that there are a variety of positions available, including over 40 that are related to construction and facilities. Meanwhile, there are nearly 200 manufacturing positions. If you'd rather consider a job in factory operations and business support, there are currently seven positions posted. Moving to the last update, Tesla turns mobile charger into optional accessory for new vehicle purchases. Tesla has decided to backtrack on its decision to charge an extra $400 for a mobile charging connector for new vehicle purchases, with CEO Elon Musk noting that the item's price would be halved due to the community's feedback. Musk's statement was an understatement. Avid Tesla watchers recently observed that Tesla was no longer bundling a mobile charging connector with new vehicle purchases. The connector, which allows owners to trickle charge their EVs from regular wall sockets, is widely considered as something that is rarely used but essential for electric vehicles, especially during emergencies. Needless to say, numerous Tesla owners and fans openly expressed their disappointment and frustration at the company's update. In a post on Twitter, Tesla CEO Elon Musk explained 
that the mobile charging connector was removed from new vehicle purchases because usage statistics showed that very few owners were using them anyway. Musk noted that bundling the item seemed wasteful. Thus, it would be more pertinent to make the mobile charging connector into an item that buyers could acquire as an add-on. Tesla would even add more plug adapters for good measure. This, however, was not enough to pacify the Tesla community, many of whom pointed out that the mobile charging connector, at least for now, is already out of stock. Many argued that Tesla's decision was not in the best interests of consumers, especially since the company has already increased its car's prices several times over the past months. Amidst the growing voices of disappointment, even among avid Tesla advocates, Musk later posted an update clarifying that the company would be dropping the mobile charging connector's price to just $200. The item would still be an optional add-on, but the CEO assured potential Tesla buyers that it would be very easy to order a mobile charging connector when they purchase a vehicle. Musk also advised that customers look into a Tesla wall connector instead, which provides much faster charging speeds. Overall, this weekend was quite remarkable to watch. Tesla has raised its prices several times this year, with few complaints from the company's avid supporters. But the humble mobile charging connector seemed to be the straw that broke the camel's back. In a way, the complaints about the item's removal are quite valid. After all, some vehicle components such as airbags are rarely used, but it is still never wise to remove them. The same is true for mobile charging connectors. Yes, they may be slow and they don't get used often, but drivers would probably want to have them if they ever get end up in a place with limited charging options. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.